Hi everyone, welcome back to this um, build of a 16mm scale Hudson Hunslet. Uh, really quick update today. Um, I've reprinted the two forming blocks um, so that they are wide enough to deal with the, the mismeasurement that we discussed in the in the last video. Um, obviously this is the A block, so this is the one that has the chamfered edge uh, for aligning the, the top curve once you've done the, the two 90 degree steps um, and then the B one is the slightly uh, narrower block across the locomotive that gives the slightly tighter curve um, if you remember when we when we looked at it before I found that pressing with a slightly wider one first meant the curve started in the right place um, but then pressing with the right size um, meant that it then tightened up uh, nicely so I've recut um, the metal piece um, and here we go um, so this is the wider piece, um, it's falling apart on me again, um, so it is um, it is slightly wider, um, it's 37mm instead of 35mm, um, so if we line it up you can see it's much closer match now to this, to this edge. Um, the printed part is actually like about somewhere between a quarter and a third of a millimetre longer than the metal piece. And I've done that deliberately, partly because measuring the metal sheet to um, exact millimetres is easier than trying to do it to fractions. Um, my rule is not that accurate. Um, so, um, but what that means is if I leave this piece slightly longer than if any variations in the metal, the, the plan is that I would then file this flush with the metal, um, just, the, just the ever so slightly, um, when when I when I've fixed this um, to the part, uh, but you can see it's uh, it's fitted it's fitted really nicely. I didn't try and put this second step back in the metal brake this time. I think it looks okay without. Um, I, I did a, I did do an initial um, try of, of doing that again. And this time, the first time I tried it, the first time I tried it, it worked quite well. The second time, um, I, I just couldn't get the I didn't get the brake in the right place, so it completely mangled this this second fold. Um, so I think in retrospect it's probably easier just to leave it with the fold from the tool. I've got slightly better at doing that, um, basically using a, a, a ruler um, against the, the metal uh, when pressing it in, the, um, in, this, in this tool. Um, so that works, that works nicely, but yeah it gives the, it gives pretty much the, I mean it gives definitely the right shape um, and now that it's the roughly the right length I think that'll work, work really really well. Um, so yeah um that's done as you can see these these had some failures on the bottom for some reason so i think my printer needs re-leveling again um so i'll do that before i try and print any more parts and then i'll i'm gonna as i say reprint this part because it also failed which is probably um the issue with the leveling because it should be flat along the top rather than drooping down um but yeah we're we're, we're getting there so um that's where we are now we have the right metal part so I think we're on the pretty much on the home straight now um, I've got to do the seat for him to sit on I have to deal with the grill for the front um, and the rest of the controls there should be under here there should be a, a mount for some levers um, again that's on the four millimeter version so it shouldn't be an issue um, but yeah as I say short update for today just to prove that the new tools um, are wide enough and still and still work 